Hey what's up guys Martin Unix here and uh, welcome again to another beginners tutorial guys today I'm going to show you how to style fishtail braid with flat barrel rhymes on short dreadlocks welcome guys welcome guys and uh, to begin with this is the length of my lock strands and uh, the reason why we are using you know we are doing flat barrels guys is to push forward the lock strands so that they can come to the part where now we shall be doing the, the fish tail. Since the lock strands are somehow smaller, guys, we are going to incorporate a flat barrel style in our style so that we can manage our fish tail. Alright, this is the way to go about it, guys. Just pick one of the strands. If you don't know how to do flat barrel, pick one of the strands just wrap the next strand around the first strand pick and incorporate another strand as you move backwards that way guys that's how you do flat barrel now i'll be securing my my flat barrel line at this particular area guys you can use one strand to secure your flat barrel Then I'm gonna do the second line. Remember guys that uh, we are doing flat barrel lines just to push forward the our you know our log strands so that we can manage our fishtail braid since our log strands are somehow shorter that way so we are going to, to make some beautiful patterns of flat barrel towards the center where our flat barrel shall be where our fishtail braid shall be taking place so That way guys, we are going to start the left side where we shall do multiple of flat barrel lines. Just to tip you guys, our, our fishtail braid shall be starting at this particular area, coming all the way to the crown area guys, where we shall have our finishing part at the front area. We need to design our flat barrel lines in a way that uh, they can direct our, our fishtail braid to the crown area. Remember guys, this is just a simple style for our beginners. And I promise to bring more tutorials when it comes to short log styles. So guys, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my youtube channel guys like my work comment and share to your friends that way just reinforce your barrel flat barrel lines guys using one of the strands so guys this is just a way of sharing creative ideas so guys if you are you have short locks or else if you are a stylist and you wanna style some short locks uh, uh, that is uh, if you wanna style fishtail braid you'll find yourself incorporating some other hairstyles in your short locks reason being that uh, you wanna manage the, the length of the short locks by styling them ahead to the point where now you want to do your fishtail braid and that's what I'm doing guys I hope you're catching up and I wish to bring more tutorials on short dialogues so guys don't skip the video just support by watching the tutorial to the end guys 
like my work, comment. You can as well, guys, share to your friends. So, guys, just to, to begin with, I understand you know how to do flat barrels. And if you don't, guys, I will be bringing a more informative tutorial on flat barrels. Guys, I've just done this style here, just to manage our shorter locks by pulling them high hand to the point where I will be doing my fishtail braid. Remember guys on short dreadlocks you need to, to incorporate other styles so that you can you can you know you can manage your fishtail braid by coming up with a fishtail braid which is much smooth. So let's begin guys just pick your strands and interlace them that way pick another strand from the left side let it come over that way this time around it shall come under the strand on the right side let it go back to the, the other side well guys we are just beginning our fish red pick another strand let it come hunter that way Pick another stand on this side that way. Over hunter guys. After reaching this point, guys, now we are going to let the swans come hunter. That way. Hunter. Then over. Hunter. Then over. Pick a strand from this side, let it come under, then over. Then the remaining strand from the other side, let it come under, then over. That way, guys, you will begin to, to see your fish dead bread taking shape on your, on your short logs. So now guys after reaching this part you can see our fish tail has just started for me so i'll be incorporating the rest of the sections as i move on once and uh, since guys i understand that uh, i've been giving many tutorials on how to do fish tail bread i'm just going to change the way i usually do them i will be styling my fish tail bread from this back part so let's pick the strands, guys. This is the first section. I'm gonna pick one of the strands, let it come hunter, then hover. That way. Pick another strand from this section, let it come over this time around. Hover. That way. Pick another strand, guys, from the same section. Let it come hunter, then hover. Now let's move to the next section. Pick a strand from this side, guys. From this side. I'm gonna pick this strand here. Let it come hunter. That way. Then hover. Another look. Sure. A fish tail is forming, guys. Let's pick another strand from this section, guys. From this side, let it come hunter. Hunter, then over. That way. Just incorporate your lock strands as you move forward. This time round, we are moving forward, guys. We are not moving backwards. So I'm gonna pick another strand from this side this side let it come hunter then over that way pick another strand from this side let it come hunter then over that way guys it's quite simple guys I'm plating my fish tail 
from the front the other tutorials guys we have been doing them from back today I'm kind of changing tactics guys that way just incorporate your locks ones as you move forward this time round guys not backward but forward and this is our fish tail braid formation uh, you see guys I'm trying to, to do my fish tail braid on a different way that is uh, I'm working from the back part just incorporate the locks ones on this case guys I'm gonna pick this front here let it come hunter that way then over to the other side pick another strand from this side let it come hunter that way then over that way guys pick another strand from this side let it come hunter then over When picking strands guys, ensure you pick the strand which has got some length. If you wanna go hunter, under the styling, that way, all the way back. The strands which are kinda shorter guys, let them come from over, that way. That's how you work on. Pick some strands incorporate them as you move on once so remember guys these are short locks and uh, in order to achieve this kind of look guys you'll, uh, you'll understand that uh, we mainly started by doing some flat barrels so that we can manage the length of our lock strands just pick the strands, let them come from underneath. At times you might pick the strands by letting them come over. If the strands have got some length, guys, don't hesitate from letting them come from underneath. And when the strands are short, like this one, just let them come over. That way. That's the secret about it. So guys, kindly remember that uh, there are more informative tutorials when it comes to fish tail braid, which I've given on my channel. You can as well visit my channel for more tutorials on fish tail braid. This is just another way of doing a fish tail braid from the back. Remember, guys, this is just fish tail braid on short dreadlocks. For those of you guys who are admire make doing some fishtail braids on their short drop, uh, on their short locks, that is, this is the way to go about it. Remember this time round, guys, I'm working from backwards. If you wanna see a tutorial on how to do fishtail braid, guys while back or working from backwards you can revisit my channel for more tutorials and such now guys after reaching the front area I'm gonna change tacts and come at the front part just as my finishing kick guys I wanna be on this side just incorporate your lock stones while working backwards just to emphasize more on the finishing part guys we want to be tilting our fishtail braid somehow on a certain angle so i want to add you guys to subscribe to my channel if you are new like my work guys keep on commenting 
and stay locked for more tutorials to come. So if you want to do fish tail red guys on your short locks this is a quick way that you can you can try out I want to be bringing more tutorials on short log styles as we move on and on all the way to the to the hand so I'm gonna just secure the hunting tip using yarn all right you can have a look guys at this our finishing look and uh, just to uh, reinstate on whatever I had been saying guys uh, we did some flat barrels on the side just to manage the length of the log stones remember guys we had short drill logs so if you pull the log stones towards the center where you want to be doing your fishtail on short drill logs guys you'll be managing the volume of the fishtail so that you can come up with a fishtail braid which is consistent and which is which its volume is not much varying so guys you'll see that uh, at the starting area the fish tail started with lesser volume then at certain level guys the volume became standard all the way to the crown area you can have a look guys so by incorporating the flat barrel guys somehow you it's kind of chipping in some creativity because you can you can have a look this side we did some few lines and then the other side we did some lines going up ones and it's amazing it's wow guys it's a truly amazing i want to urge you guys to try out this one it's a lovely look for those with short dialogues keep on trying it's amazing Thank you guys for being there. Thank you for watching my tutorial to the end. Kindly guys, share my work to your friends. This tutorial has been truly amazing. I know it has been informative to all my beginners. And I understand guys, we are going to be stay locked together for more tutorials to come. Thank you.